Kia ora, good evening. A number of organisations have accused the government of sexism in the wake of changes to immigration rules. They say female-dominated jobs like nursing and midwifery have been treated as second class, while male-dominated roles have been fast-tracked. As political reporter Amelia Wade explains, the minister completely disagrees. The country is so desperate for midwives, Joe Ovens can hardly keep up. What's the vacancy rate? I'm just being interviewed now. The answer, too damn many. The midwives themselves are describing it as free fall. And yet, neither midwives nor nurses are on the new fast track pathway to get residency. It's not just midwives fuming, it's family planning too. Well, it's a very disappointing. And plunk it. Frankly wonder whether it's just a mistake. And the nurses organisation. I don't understand it. They all say it's not just an oversight, but sexist. Women are... are seem to be treated as second-class citizens. The idea that we're equal in this society is definitely not being played out by the evidence that's right in front of us. Because there are 56 jobs that qualify for residency straight away, and in that group are many, many different types of engineers and construction specialists. The fact is they're historically male-dominated, and that's one of the sources of their privilege. Whereas among the 29 jobs who have to wait for two years are registered nurses, ECE teachers and midwives. It does seem slightly sexist, I have to say. It's absolutely sexist. It's not just that they're female workforces, but it's who they care for. The women. It is the women who suffer. I certainly think there should be some gender analysis of how these decisions were made. Is your reset sexist? I disagree with that. Uh, what we're doing is making sure that we're adding 12 other categories of nurses to what was there and what was in place previously. The minister defending his decision, saying he asked the sector and it's what they wanted. It would not be good if we attracted nurses here, uh, gave them residence and they went off and did something else. We need them in those positions because of the health position we're in. In Australia, they are on the direct pathway immediately to residence. If you were a nurse or a midwife, why would you choose to come to New Zealand? And the sector is urging the minister to change his mind. Prioritise nursing as they have many other professions. To get them here in the first place before what? worrying about how to keep them. Well, kia ora, Amelia. The minister said that he'd consulted the sector. Do you know who he asked? Yeah, the minister is absolutely adamant. He's asked around about his immigration reset, but none of the organisations I spoke today say they were consulted. So we went to Chris Farfoy's office for a list. He said that they'd mostly consulted employers of migrants, but only named two organisations as well as advice from the Ministry of Health, but said there was evidence to back up the two-year wait for residency. But it's simply stunning that in the middle of of a pandemic when there's a worldwide hunt for talent that you wouldn't go directly to the workforce and ask them what it would take to attract more of them here. And uh, sorry about that, more of them here. Or ask them at the very least whether they thought their policy was sexist. Amelia Tenakwe.